What brought you out here to the Shakespeare Festival in the park here at One City? Just to have a great time. Oh, you said what? Oh, what I'm made so you come out tonight? The art. For the love of the art. We actually live in the Shea here, so it's a great opportunity to come over here and enjoy the community. We're regulars. We come every year. You why are you guys here all together? Uh, it's a cast reunion. For Shakespeare in the Park, yeah. Yeah, we used to attend when it was in Centennial Park. Well, welcome to One City. Glad well, you're you. here. All right. This is what we used to do when we didn't have any money. <laughs> Back in the old days, we'd come out to watch Shakespeare in the Park. Uh, we're here with some just friends from school, you know? Yeah. It was all kind of weird now. Yeah. Oh, so why don't you come to the Shakespeare? This is my first time. And uh, I heard about it. So I just following up on it. We had never been to this before and had heard great things about it, so we wanted to come check it out. Yeah. Oh, you've never been before? No, we had been to Shakespeare in the Park in Kentucky, but never here. We just moved here, so. Yeah. Oh, welcome to Nashville. Thank you. No, this is my first time because, yes, I've gone to Shakespeare festivals, but not in this, not in this state. Oh, wow. I've been to Shakespeare festivals in Florida. Oh, really? So this, was, this is a treat, yeah, come every and summer. I've been jealous every time so, she goes, but now I've been invited. And I was like, yeah, we just enjoy coming out and seeing like different interpretations of Shakespeare because it's harder to read it on page than it is to see how other uh, different touring groups like reimagine it. So well, this is my first time here. I came a lot when we were when it was over at the band show. What's your favorite part of being in Shakespeare in the Park? Watching the play, for sure. It's Watching so fun. <laughs> Well, a friend of mine, Alex Clark Harris, he's in the play tonight, so I'm super excited to come out and support him. But, Are you familiar um, with August Wilson's Gem of the Ocean? Yes, um, that I am familiar with, so we're very excited to come see that as well. I'm, I'm glad that they've been incorporating uh, August Wilson plays uh, with the recent series of Shakespeare in the Park. I think even if they're not necessarily like complimentary, I think people need to be exposed to those. Um, I mean, it's uh, going to be a good one. I, I, I did my homework on it, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. How are they going to bring it to life? What are you expecting to go away with tonight? Uh, learning something about this Shakespeare uh, production that, that I know zero about. So, Have you seen Cymbeline before? No. Ah! I had to read up on it. No, me too. I have heard of this play as like part of the portfolios, but I have never actually like read or seen it, so I'm willing to be surprised. Every year it seems like it grows bigger and bigger, so we've been coming to a different place since they were um, over in Centennial. And um, like the band shell and when they moved to One City, it seems like every year it's just been kind of like evolving into like more of an interactive fan experience. It has it's some good fun. We can bring our dog and yeah. you know, all just sit and, sit and enjoy the fresh air and some good food. The community is nice and the stage is absolutely fabulous. So I'm looking forward to the play, to tell you the truth. And exposure to Shakespeare. Yes. Very cool. And exposure to the dance. Did you get here in time for the music? It was great. <laughs> what was your favorite part about the music? Coco, I like uh, smooth jazz. All right. What's your favorite part of Shakespeare? Uh, I am your spaniel. <laughs> <laughs>